My name's Sean. Welcome to another Putin video. It was I think two weeks ago I was at Corbett Steam Rally and my wife and my sister in law bought us some of this, some home, home meal flour. Um, I'll put a little bit of video on. The guy was actually milling the stuff on the site and selling it, so that's the real I am, home meal flour. And she says, Why well, don't you do a video about making some bread? So she's away to our mom's. I've got the kitchen for yourself, so I'm going to make a video about making cool meal bread. simple you need some wholemeal flour some sugar some salt some tepid water and I've got some fresh yeast the first thing you need to do is weigh out one kilogram of flour right so that's some kilograms Double bag this. I've got a, a bag I can put it in to keep it nice and dry. Right. Right, one kilo of flour into there. That's one tablespoonful of sugar in half a tablespoonful of salt. Then we've got some fresh yeast. Thirty grams of fresh yeast that goes in. You could use modern dried yeast, I suppose. This gets mixed together just to break it all up. Use Deb's electric mixer with the door hooks on to mix the ingredients all together. I've got some tepid water here. In with the tepid water. Six hundred and fifty millilitres of warm water in there. The warm water and the sugar make the yeast start using gas, and that's what makes the, the bubbles in the bread and makes it nice and light. Right, I think that's about as good as I'm going to get with that mixer. I think it's going down there by hand now. It's the bench is clean. I'm going to put a little dusting of plain flour on there just to stop it from sticking. I'm going to tip this out. As you can see, it wants a lot more mixing and more liquid as well. But at least it's made a start. I'm going to pull a hole in a little bit like making cement. I'm pleased the wife's not here. She wouldn't be impressed at all. Once you get all this glue back together, you knead it for roughly five or ten minutes or until your arms start to get tired. Once this is nicely mixed up, you leave it in a warm place. To prove that it starts to rise, it should double in size as the yeast starts to produce the gas and area the door. Right, 
laminate that looks a little bit like it's in the picture so a little bit of flour on there back into the mixing bowl and we'll cover this up either a cling film or a, a dry tea towel be a tea towel for me I'm not allowed to use cling film right we'll cover that up leave it standing for half an hour and it should double in size it's nice and warm in here because it's been a warm day so we'll just leave that there and let the yeast do its magic and the tool the tool has been standing for half an hour in a warm kitchen and you can see it's more than double in size that's incredible that so what we'll do now is we'll give it another quick fashion about just to knock some of the air out of it look at that and then we'll make it just one of our shape we're going to have and then we'll leave it again for another half an hour for its second proving and then that's it basically ready to go into the oven we've knocked it air out knocked it back down to some sensible size and we're going to make bones out of it so we need okay tennis ball size bits I suppose you should once again more or less double in size right have been resting now for 20 minutes and you can see they have indeed <laughs> doubled the size I mixed a little bit more to it and made these up I put them on a baking tray I think I'm going to need a bigger, bigger oven here to tell you the truth so that's them two there we'll cook some of the bones but I won't get them all in we'll cook that one because that was the, the one for me I believe how big these things are growing. Right, these go into a pre oven, 180 degrees C for about 20 minutes. Good. Really good. 
Шибко 